So the last sub point of this module is evaporation loss. See in the hydrologic cycle we have four to five component and we have the four to five processes is, are there. The major process is the evaporation one, then the precipitation, then infiltration, then the runoff as well as there is a percolation process also. So these are the processes, uh, the processes following one by one and this process forms a cycle which is known as a hydrologic cycle that we had already studied in the chapter for hydrology. Here we are dealing with the evaporation loss. See evaporation and evapotranspiration are the two most important phases of a hydrologic cycle which redistribute the heat energy between the surfaces and atmosphere. This is the process in which liquid changes to the gaseous state at the free surface, the boiling point through the transfer of heat energy. It is a continuous natural process by which a substance changes from liquid to gaseous state. We know that. It is a continuous process. Then the main source of evaporation is the solar radiation. We have the sun, we have the solar radiation in a, a bigger quantity. So the process is continuously going on. For arid region, we have already discussed in chapter 3 that is what is arid and what is semi-arid. Arid region in which irrigation water is not required. For arid region, the loss due to evaporation may be as high as 90% of annual precipitation. Then, uh, the rate of evaporation dependent on the following factor, that is vapor pressure at the water surface and air above this surface, solar radiation, air and water temperature, wind speed, Atmospheric pressure, nature and size of evaporating surface on these factors, the rate and, and as well as the quality of a water on these factors, the rate of evaporation depends. See from the Dalton's law of a evaporation, the rate of evaporation can be related to vapor pressure as under that is evaporation is equal to C into bracket ES minus Ea is equal to A that is constant uh, plus B again a constant then into Es minus Ea. So these are the some of the uh, what do you say the uh, equation by using that equation we can find out or uh, we can uh, easily determine the evaporation rate. Then the, where the E is the evaporation, E is the saturation vapor pressure at the water surface, Ea is the actual water pressure, then C is the constant, then uh, AB also constants. Factors affecting on the evaporation loss. One is, first one is the nature of evaporating surface. Different evaporating surfaces like barren land, forest area, houses and lakes affect evaporation to the extent they have the potential. Black cotton soil helps to evaporate the soil water faster than the red soil because such soil have a potential to absorb incoming radiation more effectively. Then, evaporation from a wet soil is faster and it reduces gradually as the soil becomes drier. Then we have the area of a water surface. The evaporation loss directly depends upon the area of the surface. The greater the area, greater will be the water loss due to the evaporation. Second, third uh, factor uh, is uh, depth of a water in a water body. The deep water bodies evaporate slower than the shallow water bodies in summer, while in a winter season they evaporate faster. Next factor is humidity. Evaporation is inversely proportional to humidity. 
if the humidity in the atmosphere is more evaporation will be less wind velocity wind removes the overlying vapor from an evaporating body thereby increasing the rate of evaporation however high wind speed may not necessarily remove vapor vapor from a smaller water body there is thus a relation between the wind speed and size of a water bodies or evaporating surface next factor is the temperature of air increase in a air temperature increases the evaporation rate obviously atmospheric pressure at higher altitudes evaporation loss is more while in deep valleys evaporation is less quality of a water the presence of a dissolved salts in water reduces the saturation vapor pressure of a water which consequently reduces the rate of a evaporation next is the estimation method if evaporation from the surface of the water bodies had happened or had done measurements using evaporation pans we have a indian standard evaporation pan which is recommended by is 5973 1970 and we have a use of various by using a various of empirical equation amongst this we have a meyer's formula we have a rovers formula which is uh, find out or which is uh, uh, determined in mayors will be uh, find out in a 1950 year or rovers formula will be find out in a 1931 then we have a water budget method it balances all incoming outgoing and stored water in lake or reservoir over a period of a time then next method is energy budget method see it uses the conservation of energy by incorporating all the incoming outgoing and stored energy of a lake or reservoir so this is the uh, this is about the evaporation loss